I'm Jessica Phillips Silver. I'm a cognitive scientist, a musician, and a mother. I teach a workshop series called Baby Brains at Washington, D.C.'s Bloom Bars, which is a haven for all artists of all ages. And I'm interested in how music and dance shape the brain and how we become musical from the first days of life and sometimes what can go wrong later in life um, and how music can sometimes heal. Baby Brains is for everybody. It's for parents, for teachers, for educators, for policy makers. It's a way for us to uh, decide where we're going to go here and now with music and our children. My daughter was a year old she started walking and as soon as she was walking we brought her to Bloom Bars where they have Harambe which is Kiswahili for coming together and uh, through music and song. And it's a place where children learn not just music of cultures around the world on authentic uh, instruments and played in authentic context, but they learn about how to be with one another, how to respect each other, um, and how to have compassion. Bloom Bars has become a home to me uh, where I can really blend between the academic, scientific side of me, the music side of me as an artist, and the part of myself as a mother. And those three aspects of myself have been coming together and have found a place to begin something new. Traveling around the world giving talks about music and dance in the brain and I always find myself at the end urging everybody to keep, keep dancing. Dance in the home, dance with their children, dance with their loved ones and I've developed somewhat of a reputation as perhaps the girl who will never sit down and be quiet and stop dancing. However, it has been for some good because out of the research I've done with my colleagues we have found a lot about the importance of what dance and moving and feeling music um, does for us and in particular what it does for the developing brain really early in childhood. Our articles are coming out into the media about music in the brain and what it can do for a baby born prematurely and what it can do for an Alzheimer's patient or a Parkinson's patient. And, so, and, and there's the question of music and arts being cut in our schools. So right at this moment the President's initiative is coinciding with these really important questions about what we're going to do as a society with music and the arts and preserving it in our lives. I experienced a shift in my life in which I want to talk about this issue about art and music and the brain, uh, not just with scientists and in the academic world, but uh, with the public, with parents and teachers. Um, and uh, being a mother has made me think about these questions uh, with respect to my own child and not just the education and uh, life that I'm providing for her now, but what she's getting from her community at large. And when we think about uh, the musical and arts experience that we give our, our children, we need to think about um, how they can use the arts to develop themselves, to develop a unique voice, and to really um, open themselves up to creating something new. And now, I am going to take this message around the world with Bloom Bars and talk to everybody, the parents, the teachers, the grandparents, the policy makers, to um, get them up and dancing and spread the message that through music, through dance, we become better people and we need to think about how we're living this in our communities and how we're getting it into our children's schools to keep them growing and becoming the best people that they can be.